4.5 million vaccines have been administered now in Pennsylvania as a sign that hopefully we're nearing the end of the pandemic. But when narrowing down the vaccinated population, many rural communities feel that they're being left out. WBRE 28, WIOU 22, Eyewitness News reporter Cody Butler joins us live tonight in Montrose with more. Cody. Nick, good evening here in Susquehanna County. There are only now two providers to administer the vaccine. That's Price Chopper and Rite Aid, causing a slow process in getting people vaccinated. Susquehanna County has a population of more than 40,000 residents. Less than 3,000 of them are partially vaccinated, according to the State Department of Health's website. A lot of people that fit the 1A criteria that we can't even get scheduled to take and, and get a vaccine. Allen Hall has been pushing Harrisburg to allocate vaccines for the county. His fight, he says, came before knowing one of the main hospitals in the county is no longer a vaccine provider. That puts us in a negative vaccine count in our county because they didn't increase the vaccine to the other providers. They just took vaccine away from us. The county and surrounding ones are of older population. Multiple counties have been working with the Department of Health to have a countywide vaccine clinic. So we've done all our homework. We've established them, how to do them, presented plans to FEMA and Pima and everybody on how to do them and get them done in our area. But yet again, they can't get us the vaccine. Or they're trying to, to establish a, a regional area to go when when our county is ready and willing, we have the volunteers, the people, um, to do the vaccines ourselves and to, to get them to the people that can't leave the area. Tom Henry says Wyoming County is in the same boat. The frustration is mutual in that. The Wolf administration is looking at a regional vaccination site at Mohegan Sun Arena in Wilkesbury Township, encompassing eight counties, Susquehanna, Bradford, Wayne, Wyoming, Lackawanna, Pike, Monroe, and Carbon. The site would exclude Luzerne, according to state officials. We're trying to convince Governor Wolf that that's not the right way to go. Um, not that we don't feel that that's a good idea to get as many people vaccinated as possible, but it, it doesn't work for all of our residents. Henry says the elderly across the northern tier counties would have to travel great lengths in hopes to get a vaccine. It's an hour drive for most of our residents, and um, it's just, it's not fair. County commissioners in Wyoming and Susquehanna counties are in limbo when it comes to the Department of Health approved clinics. They say without vaccines, nothing can be done until the state allocates vaccines for their clinics. We're live in Montrose. Cody Butler, 2822 Eyewitness News. Nick.